We are savvy. We are more than just content creators. We are storytellers. We tell the Tomashian story. Stories of victories. Stories of inspiration. And the story of unending grace. We are 360. It can be found here, here, and here. We have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. This equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories, we engage people. We are professionals who take our craft seriously by transforming crazy into impressive side by side with our student volunteers. We hone, we cultivate, we are committed to truth and kindled by love. We are the USD Communications Bureau. Mabuhay! Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridget. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our third viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. Good afternoon from wherever you're at. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, two very well-known natin. Oo, ano kanina ng greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh, i-cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you very much for joining Hello. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, pin, hindi, hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na tumasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga tumasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. Uh, thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of Bridges. Sa USC Hospital din po ako pinanganak. Kaya talagang tumasyan po ako. Tumasyan. Tumasyan all the way. Welcome to the show. Ganda pa naman ang sinabi ko. Hindi po lang narinig. So, hi everyone and nice to be back. I'm so glad to be here on Bridges. At naway uh, magkaroon tayo lang ang uh, Ma, fruitful na pag-usapan. So, yeah. Father, good afternoon. Marami bang mga, mga youth ngayon, mga kabataan, mga K-pop, panyong sa'yo. So, magandang gabi din sa ating mga fellow Tomasians and all those who are watching. I'm glad for trusting me <laughs> for this particular um, very important topic. Kailangan po natin ng mga yes. bridges na katulad ninyo at marami po tumutulong sa ating uh, mga uh, adhikay. We are always on the move, always on track, and in full swing. 
serving the Smashing community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. blessings of a teacher and the teacher as a blessing. We easily have in our minds the image of a teacher in the classroom. But teachers or the learning facilitators actually everywhere. They are found in the home, in the person of the parents and elders, in the community, in the church, and even in the corporate world. Indeed, teaching and learning happens everywhere because learning is a lifelong process. Our episode today focuses on the learning facilitator in the corporate world. Interestingly, this episode will make us realize that the workplace is a big classroom where we grow as professionals and as persons. This episode is brought to you by the USD Alumni Association Incorporated, and this is Dr. Giselle Barion greeting you and wishing you all a joyful afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you are. My host partner today is Father Marlon Bobier Vargas, SVD, who is joining us from Spain. Buenos dias, Padre Marlon. <laughs> Hi, Father. 
Hola, hola, buenas tardes. Magandang hapon, buenos días a todos, buenos días, o buenas tardes, buenas noches. Kung nasa man kayo dito sa mundo, greetings from Spain. It's, I really feel so excited to be here with you. It's my first time to do Bridges, but this time not as a guest speaker, but a host. So I'm really happy to, to have you, Dr. G. You know, when I was invited to host this uh, conversation and one of the immediate thoughts came to mind, who will be my host or my co-host? And I'm so glad to be with you, Dr. G. And I'm Thank sure we'll father. have an exciting afternoon. I've been hosting uh, this program for quite some time and it's my first time to oh, co-host wow. with you. That's why I feel honored and uh, oh, happy that you are my partner for today. Uh, Father, kamustahin lang kita ng konti dyan sa Spain. Kamusta ka naman? <laughs> well, uh, you know what? I, I'm, not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm happy. But at the same time, I miss Philippines because hmm. I think two, almost two months ago, I was there in the Philippines. I spent my two months vacation I met several friends, and that was the time when I was invited to be a guest speaker in one of the episodes. So, I miss it, but this is our life. This is my vocation of missionary here in Spain. So, okay lang yan. Minsan kailangan tayong mabitin sa mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa atin para hanap-hanapin natin. But for now, I'm glad to be here and... I'm sure we'll have a exciting conversation yes. with our guest today. Yes. So, kasi maganda yung topic natin ngayon, di ba? About teaching in the corporate world. Pero ikaw, Father, from what I know, you're a graduate of the College of Education. So, you are yes. also a teacher, di ba? Uh, yes. Can you tell us more about your experience as a teacher? Sure. Uh, yes, I Although, am... alam, I know na partner kita ngayon. Na. Iba trabaho mo ngayon. Hindi ka, yes, yes. Hindi ka guest. No? Just briefly, no? just describe your experience as a teacher. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm laughing because you said uh, we are partner today. You know? Ito pala ang benefit ng pagiging co-host ng Bridges. Somehow, nagkakaroon ako ng temporary partner sa buhay ko. Uh-oh. sa vacation. But yes, you're right. I'm a graduate of USD 2003. And I am a scholar of USD, and I'm very thankful for the community for that uh, education that they gave me, the formation. I'm very thankful for that teacher, and also I was an active student council. So now I'm t- I, I, the last time I taught in academic setting was 2011, and then after that I entered the formation, and here I am. I'm a religious missionary. But of course, I'm still a teacher professor. Uh, maybe hindi na sa loob ng classroom, kundi ang aking parokya, ang aking simbahan, yes. ang aking simbahan ang magiging classroom ko. Ibang platform mo naman ngayon. No? Yes. Uh, pareho tayo, Father. No? Pareho tayong nakaka-relate at lalong makaka-relate sa topic natin. Ako naman is academe and corporate world yung aking ginagalawang oh, mundo. Wow. Yes, that's why I'm also interested with our topic today, Father. Uh, dahil ikaw ay teacher, tayong dalawa actually, eh, ipakilala na natin, Father, ang ating game. Yes, ngayong araw na to. Okay ba yun, Father? Or absolutely. Okay na, all right. Está muy bien. Entonces, <laughs> I, I have the, you know, I, I, as I've said, I'm so excited to be here as a host. And again, to introduce our guest speaker is another thing. It's a bonus. You know? And when I was reading the, the biography of our guest speaker, wow, it's, it's really amazing. But mm-hmm. again, impressed ako sa ating guest. Uh, ako rin, father. Uh, Nakita ko rin yung kanyang CV. <laughs> yes. And you know what? So, comment, side comment po lang. Ha? Kasi it's not about yung curriculum or curriculum. Oh. Video. Pero nung nalaman ko na siya yung guest speaker natin, mm. I immediately contacted a, a good friend of mine who happened a common friend namin. And then that person said, oh, I know Engineer Manny. He is so mabait na leader. Mabait siyang leader. I think that's a very important a uh, point that we have to mention in as I introduce our our speaker kasi yes. kailangan natin ng isang mabait na leader. Oh. So without further ado, allow me to introduce our guest. So our guest tonight is Engineer Emmanuel Estrada. Friends call him Manny, so I will call him Engineer Manny. Engineer Manny Estrada graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering from the University of Santo Tomas. Engineer Manny's 39-year career in the telecommunications industry included stints in the engineering academe, government, and the private sector. He became part of the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC, for nine years, where he headed, where he headed the Multisectoral Interim Type Approval Board, or ITAB, 
that issued the first Philippine technical standards and type approval requirements for customer premises equipment. Engineer Manny joined the Globe Telecom in 1994, where he took various roles. He started as senior radio network planning engineer, moved up the career ladder, and became vice president of network technologies strategy division in 2007. At present, Engineer Manny is the senior vice president of Globe for Technology Strategy and Service Integration, or TSSI, a position he took in 2019. He received various commendations, notable of which include Institute of Electronics and Communications Engineers of the Philippines Outstanding ECE of the Year Awardee in the field of communications in October 1998. The University of Santo Tomas Engineering Centennial Awardee in the area of industry leadership in December 2007. The University of Santo Tomas 10 Outstanding Tomasian Alumni 2011 awardee in engineering practice and the 2020 Outstanding Tomasian Engineering Alumni Award. Through to his being a learning facilitator, Engineer Manny introduced the Engineering Cadetship Program for GLOBE in 1996 and continues to assist GLOBE's HR team in improving and developing technical training programs for GLOBE's engineers. Dearest friends, let us all welcome engineer Emmanuel Estrada, a certified mentor, a coach, a learning facilitator in the corporate world. Welcome to Bridges, Engineer Manny. Ay, magandang hapon uh, sa iyo, Dr. G, and uh, magandang umaga sa iyo, Father Marlon. Sa lahat ng ating viewers out there today, alam mo naman sa cyberspace, hindi mo alam kung nasaan ng viewers mo. They could be in the moon for all I care or in the passionate space station. But to all of you, I hope you're all in the best of health and you're excited as we are to share with you what we have to share with regards to teaching in the corporate world. Kasi talagang iba naman siya sa pagtuturo sa academy. It's really a pleasure to be invited here to the session of bridges. And I hope that I will be able to share with you some of the things that I have learned myself as I went about my training career in the corporate world. By the way, my father, Dr. Gino, uh, just call me Manny kasi hindi ako sanay na tinatawag ng engineer. No? I have been called many things. I have been called Doctor, I have been called uh, Sir, I have been called Father, I have been called Attorney, I have been called Engineer, pero mas simple man. Para mas less formal tayo, mas maganda yung lapor na. Ayun. Welcome, Engineer Manny. I mean, Manny. Parang, it would be difficult for us to adjust our natural yes, yes, <laughs> tendencies, ni Father. <laughs> Sige, Father. Sige, uh, ito, uh, how it goes. Uh, yes. Oh, sure alam, affordable. Yes. Uh, engineer Manny, I hope you would allow me to call you engineer, no? <laughs> Kasi hindi ko na ma mabago, eh. <laughs> alam ko, uh, engineer, matagal ka na sa Globe, no? Uh, na na Nakakahanga na tumagal ka ng... Until now, you're still there and you are with the company for 39 years. You've um, been part no, of... Uh, 27 in Globe. 39 across industry. Across industries? Oh, okay. Wow. Ganun na ka... ka in depth ang iyong experience in the corporate world. Now, I would like to know, uh, engineer, magi introspect lang tayo ng konte, no? Kasi you are now a facilitator of, uh, of course, technology, yung network. Napakaganda ng tinuturo mo sa, ano, kasi you're transferring technical skill. But before ka napunta sa field na to of learning and development, uh, let's go back to your student days in UST. Kamusta naman na, uh, ano, if you're going to go back the memory lane, engineer, uh, Kamusta yung naging, ano mo, naging life mo as a student that probably paved the way for, for where you are now? Galing ako kasi sa ano eh. I'm from the UST High School bus of 1977. Ito yung ano, gypsy box ang tawag sa amin noon eh. And very important kami yung box na palipat-lipat ng building. Sa kanaman nakita, ah. wala kami ng first year, nandun kami sa lumang high school building. Na sabi nila, pag tumatawag ko sa auditorium, para kung sa kabilang wing, mayroong pari doon na walang ulo. No? Para itong feeling mo <laughs> sa having seen. Second year, pagpasok namin, first day of school. Wala nang building, nasusunog na yung building namin. So we had to have our classes in the 
in the seminary building, in the AB building, and then finally the fortune and the gypsy mm-hmm. batch. Hindi pa ko okay yung araw, no? And, uh, and uh, the, parang may China wall, eh. The girls were in the morning session, there's a one-hour gap in between, and then sa hapon yung mga boys. No? Um, no high school, ito, I think it was one of my most uh, happiest uh, in terms of school days na meron ako. I was busy setting up the electronics club ng high school noon. I was busy with the Glee Club kasi alam ko talaga yung Glee Club mm-hmm. mga araw pa. And then, kami rin yung unang batch that we broke the China Wall. No? Uh, kasi nga, di ba, hiwalay na yung girls sa yung boy session. And we broke it during one of the one of the programs. Kasi nung pati program, hiwalay. What we did was from the Glee Club, we we had four people. no Ako, si Wilmer Baliton, si Mon Lizardo ng Turks na dati. And then, um, si Takoy and Rile who was who went into the seminary sa Santo Domingo pero hindi natuloy kasi kapangasawa ng Gerard Peter model so natuloy siya so we went and formed a tri uh, a quartet and we sang in the girls high school principal si Mrs. Murillo siguro si Professor Evelyn would would uh, still remember si Mrs. Murillo and it was really very fun Ang masaya nun is my teachers were very inspiring and really not to mm. stop them from teaching us and preparing us for college no matter what. Masunod man yung building, lumipat na kami na ilang beses, wala kami laborat facilities. But they were really determined to make sure that we are prepared for college and that's how I remember my high school. Wow. So faculty engineering, highly competitive eh. But engineering yeah. was not really my my uh, first choice for education. Gusto ko sana maging doktor, talaga doktor. Sabi okay. ng tatay ko, wala tayong pera. Mm-hmm. Anong, ano pa? Gusto ko rin magpare, parang si Father Mark. <laughs> oh. wow. My so, father was not very happy. He was very yeah. uh, Sabi niya, mamamatay yung bloodline sa iyo kasi ikaw lang lalaki na anak. So sabi ko, sige, kompromiso. Mag-engineering na lang ako. But it was mm-hmm. my last choice. Bute, fa- ah, bute ano, engineer, if I may lang, no? hindi mo pinursu yung love mo for music kasi di ba you're a member of Glee Club? Yes. Well, hindi nawala yun nung college eh. Uh, and, I still ah. sing, and I still sing in the choir, doon sa Loreto Male Choir. Oh, nice. Ng- kasi layo na eh. And then, sa Globe, we have a Globe Voices at Work. I wanted uh-huh. to join, but uh, all the mentoring and the coaching and the teaching and the actual job itself, Did engineer Manny. Uh, engineer Manny, baka mamaya pwede ka magbigay ng sample naman siya. Oo nga eh. Pero, Kahit isa ano lang dyan, can you give us a sample? <laughs> One line okay. or two. Maybe <laughs> mamaya. Biglang na on the ano, spot eh. No, lagot ako yeah, dito eh. mamaya. Sabi ko, you're on the spot mo. <laughs> Bigyan natin ng konting prepare. <laughs> Bigyan natin ng konting preparation si engineer Manny. You know, engineer oh, Manny, no, I, I, I know, you know, I noticed na, and I think this is the beauty of our uh, bridges, eh, mga episodes natin. Mm-hmm. We start our episode with a story, our memory of yes. UST. UST. And every time every time we hear a story or memory of UST, it always brings smile and joy to the listeners, yes. to our audience. Diba? Pero, of course, it's one part of uh, many stories. So, uh, doc, uh, engineering, uh, engineer Manny, pardon, uh, Thank you for sharing your your memory, your great wonderful memories at UST. Pero I'm sure that's that's that it could be the beginning of your long journey mm-hmm. becoming who you are right now. So yeah. how about let's talk about your journey as a learning facilitator in the corporate. And how did it start? Oh, imagine from UST, your life there, you enjoyed being a member of a Glee club as a student. And I'm sure now you have so many narratives or stories to share that definitely will inspire us. So please. Uh, give us something about your journey. Tell us something about your journey as a yeah. learning facilitator. Maganda rin yan. Right after college kasi, no, I started in a small company. Noong un- 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 una, araw pa yung, uso pa yung mga camera na may filming. So I joined a photo laboratory, which is walking distance from our house, which is swimming house. Yung namang bahay namin is swimming distance to USD. Mm-hmm. Swimming so distance. Swimming distance. Talaga. Talaga. I love it. Pagka pag-ulan at binabaha yung yes. Spanya, you actually swim to school so that you can get to engineering para makakuha ka ng preliminary exams mo or final exams mm-hmm. or whatever it is. So talagang, talagang sinasabi namin ng araw, kapag ang engineering, ang, ang UST natalo sa swimming sa UAAP, saan na natin to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that started it all. After that, I was... 
I said, magtuturo ako sa engineering. At that time naman, yung mga faculty members ng engineering were on an exodus trip. Meron ako punta sa Lasal, yung iba nag-aabroad, yung resto sa amin. Maybe it's time teaching first. And I taught in the university for for like two years in full time. And then later, oh, nag-part-time ako sa utama ako sa gobyerno. Uh, ang very first day of school po as an instructor in USD was very interesting kasi I sat at the back Mm. of the classroom wearing the engineering uniform. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mas interesting. Ang daming babae, kalahati babae, mga ECE students to say here. And then so when they started all settling, that's a bit ang tagal ng teacher natin. Late na ng 10 minutes, baka walang teacher. It's not kasi first day of school and then I stood up and says, good morning class, I will be your instructor for this subject today. My name is Man Estrada and please hand me over your class cards. And for those of you who are not comfortable being under me, please do not submit your class cards. Wag nyo na i-submit. Diba? So you might, you know, you might want to transfer answer. Kasi nga bago yung piece, mm-hmm. baka yun. Yeah. And it turns out na it establish some kind of connection with the students kasi sabi nila itong teacher namin is just like a year older from us. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's actually two years, pero sa kanila parang year older than us. Mm-hmm. Na reunion kami nung bago mag-lockdown in 2019, meron kami picture together. And one of the interesting things that my wife told me, and I don't know whether she's, you know, she wants something from me, is was this. Alam mo, yung mga studyante, mukha mo sa patanda pa sa'yo. Mm-hmm. But it somehow started my passion for teaching. Kasi ang sarap pala nung nagtuturo ka, yes. wala pa ako experience, so talaga ang pure Mm-hmm. Then I moved over and joined Globe in 1994. Wala na talaga akong balak mo nang magturo. Kailan kasi by requirement and by need, kailangan mo magturo and why is that? My first assignment ko was as a consultant to Globe because I was coming from another Ayala Corporation company and I was seconded there to help build a project team into a full-blown engineering team. And then define your wireless network engineer structure, put in the processes, and then bring in the right people to the point. Ang problema, hindi attractive place to work ang globe noon at that time in 1994. Ang entry level salary is something na siguro allowance na lang ngayon. So ano yung solution? So the solution was to hire a few experienced engineers, meaning fresh yung mga meron na experience, with background in teaching. Bakit ko naisip ng background in teaching? Kasi kailangan ko nang may magtuturo eh. And then hire the rest straight out from college. So I was wow. able to hire three, one of which was a curriculum designer for one of the institutions. One was a professor in Don Bosco. Mm-hmm. And I myself was also teaching in university. So we had three people with academic graph and one was very adept in creating a curriculum. And then we invited about 85 people. We not interview kami 85 people. And from the 85, you know how much, how many we actually picked at the end? Oh. About 30. Oh. A lucky no fallout rate yeah. because we were not hiring for people with the necessary technical competence. Fresh from college life. I will provide that to them by having my battery of faculty teachers with me. Yung tatlo, kaming tatlo. We were hiring them because they were promising candidates. Hindi sila nga nga ako, but they are willing to learn. Maganda yung result nila and attitude, exhibiting ability to work in a multinational environment. Plus, they were very patient. Can you imagine 85 people in the gym mo? Natapos kami, nagsimula kami ng interview na alauna, natapos kami about 9 p.m. Wow. and those who stayed, they were part of those who selected. Kasi ito yung mga tatagal. Mm-hmm. So, 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 Engineer Manny, sorry to interrupt. I'm just wondering, uh, ganun ka, ano yung pro- procedure na ina-undertake nila at yun kung paano yung pinapacilitate kung sino yung magiging employees ng company niyo po. No? So I'm wondering po, dun, it's yun, even more stringent today. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. And, and then, so I'm curious po, uh, so pag na hire na po sila, what kind of trainings does your company give to your employees po? Especially nowadays po. Ah. I'm sure during that time iba pa, pero nowadays, ano po yung mga trainings na binibigay niyo po? 
Ngayon, ano yung the combination of technical and non-technical trading. Mm-hmm. And there's a, yung technical training, ito yung mga fresh from college, tuturan mo ng new technologies. Existing people, existing engineers mo, may bagong technology, may bago kayong part, technology part na kailangan nilang aralin yung solution na yan. May bagong development. For example, yung dead usapan nyo, very, very controversial. Artificial intelligence. We have an entire course that we built for people to understand artificial intelligence, not just from a technological standpoint, not just from a system architecture standpoint, but from what it is in terms of delivering a value to your customers. Because every technology has to deliver a value, others will not point that. Other than that, we need to understand what are the legal implications of artificial intelligence once you put it to work. We need to understand what are the moral implications of it. Yung bago kong role ngayon as a regulatory de- in, in regulatory development strategy brings together yung technology, yung people, plus yung regulatory and policy at saka moral ethics about it. So mm. it's complicated. So it's a combination of hard skills, yung mga te- technical. Soft skills, people, managing people, mm-hmm. understanding your team, making sure your team was correctly, courageous conversations, everyday leadership, mga ganon. Kasi it's mm-hmm. important for us to do that. Other than that, hindi lang naman yung customers mo na yun, hindi lang yung internal people. You have to also be able to educate and teach your stakeholders. Sini right. stakeholders mo? Yung, yung regulate, regulators mo, yung National Telecommunications Commission in the ICT is one of your stakeholders. You have to be able to let them know that with this technology, ito yung posible, ito yung hindi posible, then ito implication mm-hmm. yung Yung legislators natin, yung mga senador, yung mga congressman, isa sa mga pinaka-interesting na experiences ko is to be able to come and sit before congressmen and senators and tell them this is what fair use policy is all about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And make them understand, even without the technical background, that how this is how it works and this is why it should be there. And this is why it should not be there. Yung customers mo is also your, it's also somebody that you need to teach. Kasi kung mayroon technology and they don't know how to maximize its use, then they might be paying for something that does no value to them. Kaya kami hmm. nito-customize ng mga plans. Eh. So, ang dami mong kailangan ituro ngayon pag nasa corporate world ka na, hindi lang yung theory. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa akin, heavy theoretical centric yan eh. Pagdating sa real world, sabi namin 70-20-10. 70% mm-hmm. learn by actually doing, making a mistake, mm-hmm. learning from the mistake, 20% by coaching by people like me, training facilitators, my colleagues who work, also take time to go out to the field to teach the new engineers and to teach the engineers and yung 10 classroom. Balik ka, di ba? Sa kolehyo, sa akadim, ilang oras lang ang lab. Ilang yes. oras ang lecture. Right. Oh, It's I, I'm sure, engineer Manny, I'm sure si Dr. G Ah, Karlin, dito kasi si Dr. G nasa academy ngayon eh, di ba? Oo, oh, oh. so actually Dr. ano, nag, nagma-multitasking din ako katulad ni Engineer Manny eh, corporate oh, and ah. consulting din eh. So meron mm-hmm. akong consulting uh, cor- cor- slash corporate and academe. Uh, si ano, uh, Father Marlon, gusto kong tanungin si ano, kasi may na-research tayo, di ba Father Marlon about engineer, yes. yung mm-hmm. tag- regarding dun sa Engineering Cadetship Program for Globe yes, back I'm, in 1996. Also, yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you I'm like to walk to us through that? Oo, kung ano yung Engineering Cadetship Program for Globe? Uh, Hi, oh, sa hindi niya. Kasi una, there was really a need. Kasi kailangan namin magturo. Eh. And while, mm-hmm. because we're also building the network at that time, yung first GSM network at that time, we barely have time to put everybody into a single classroom and tell them ito yung technology behind it. So, ang nangyari, mag-bring in tayo ng cadetship program. Yung cadetship program, may structure talaga, may curriculum siya. No? Meron kang, ito yung mga requisite subjects, ito yung requisite subjects, ito yung field work niya. And that was done by one of my colleagues who, who I invited to join at the time. Kasi talagang yun ang forte ni Casita Robiales, ni Ms. Robiales. That was really her forte, creating and developing technical curriculum. And then kami na, kami kasama who is a who is an expert in transmission where I am with 
Mm-hmm. Siya naman yung nagtuturo ng transmission. Ako, I was teaching anything pra- practically from graphic engineering, from systems and architecture and design, to radio engineering. So that's why we put it into place. Kasi we have to have a curriculum na may structure. Kasi kung hindi mo na-provide yung structure, then mahirap Oo. mag-build ng skill na mabilisan. Mm-hmm. The second thing is we are a company that delivers services. We're in a highly competitive environment and we need to be able to build a pipeline of engineers as we move forward. And that's why the engineering cadetship program came into play. So yung simple simple need dati, ngayon naging must do na because you're now thinking of how you will continue surviving in this very competitive world and building the next generation of engineers and leaders. Yeah. Engineer Manny, uh, you mentioned about yun nga, yung, yung mga competencies, yung mga trainings, essential mm-hmm. skills na dinadevelop nyo sa, sa, sa globe po, yung hard skill, yung mga soft skills. Mm-hmm. So, di, di, do you see a uh, big difference po nung yung kind of training na binibigay noon at yung mga training na binibigay ngayon? In terms of competencies, for example, so mm-hmm. what kind or what are the competencies that you intentionally, deliberately uh, teach or enhance in the training program, especially now in the times of digital revolution, Deva. So I wonder about the competencies, especially you mentioned something about artificial intelligence. So yes, we could rely on the competence of artificial intelligence, but the next question is the moral implications that you mentioned a while ago. Can Recording you stopped. Help us to say more about that. Oh. Well, sabi nga namin, no? ano yan eh? it's a, an entire wide spectrum of skills and competences that you have to be aware of. So it's not just in network, it's also in information technologies. Mm-hmm. Yung mga, mga training programs namin yung Center on Emerging Technologies, fundamentals. What we, what we found out no, is that when you have a cadetship program, like what we do, where you invite 300 people and finally you select from 300 people 10 people na pili-pili na talaga, 10 to 20 people, pili-pili na talaga, they have the fundamental knowledge that they get from the universities like USD. Mm-hmm. But for them to be able to put it into practical use, dyan yung ngayon, it should change yung training programs to support that. So there's technology uh, trainings on emerging technologies. Market trends, yung sinasabi mo makanina, going digital na tayo lahat. Mm-hmm. Customer management, kasi ano yung importante na importansya ng solution na yan, ng, ng, ng technology na yan para sa customer. Ano yung reaction ng customer mo? Kasi kailangan ma-predict mo yung kung nag-design ka ng yeah. mo. Product design. Project management, kasi nap- napakadaming moving parts and, and, ano, and, and uh, aspects yung isang project. For example, when we built and designed GCAS in 2004, oh, yes. that design team, it wasn't what the GCAS of today that we know. Kasi it started to evolve because yung, yung insight namin about how customer uses the service also evolve and changes. Kaya kailangan importante yan. People management, pinaka-importante. High stress environment. Ang daming target deadlines. Ang daming ginagawa. How do you now manage your people so that they're coherently working and not, you know, Marami pa naman engineer na ano no, mga Argentinian at Russian sa corporate world. Ay, oh, oh, mga Russian, oh, Argentian. Oh, Actually Argentina. marami tayong chikahan pa na darating no. Mag <laughs> ano lang tayo, we are going to have a short commercial break. Wag kayong aalis. Yeah, We are always on the move, always on track, and in full swing. 
serving the Tamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. Yeah, sa ating conversation with Engineer Manny na nagiging exciting. Very insightful discussion, yeah, insightful. no? Exciting, insightful, and meron pa, syempre. Pero bago yan, uh, shout out muna sa ating mga listeners, sa ating mga followers mm. na nanonood, sum- nanonood, especially kay Dr. Erica Bolaño, sa principal ng USD High School. Uh, actually, magkasama kami sa student council noon. Siya president o kay vice president. And also kay Miss Connie Yu, ang aking kaibigan. So, Uh, greetings sa inyo lahat. Engineer Manny, baka meron kang gustong batiin. Take this uh, uh, chance now. Well, so mga batchmates ko ng batch 77, uh, I know that we are all uh, we are all in our retirement stage as you may want to think about it. But you should never retire as a teacher. Yung number one. Yes. You should continue teaching all across. And then, doon sa mga kaglobe ko, na lalo na yung mga ex-cadets at saka yung mga mentees ko, wala, siguro, no, nawiwirdohan kayo minsan sa mga sinasabi ko sa inyo, sa paghabang in the course of the coaching and the mentees and pagtuturo ko sa inyo. But hopefully, now I see you are all successful and it really uh, somehow makes me feel very happy with that. I'm really very proud of all of you. Ano na yung mga naging cadets ko in the last so many years. Okay. Wow. Thank you, in Germany. Uh, so, kanina, bago tayo nag-break, uh, medyo lumalalim yung pag-uusap natin. Oh, my. No? Eh. <laughs> talk about the... Na- Naka-exciting. <laughs> Excited ako. Sana na nasa school setting. Na, Tuturo din ako. But anyway, so, yun nga. We mentioned, we talk about the hard skills, the soft skills, about the more implications that you always keep in mind when you give your training, the competencies. We also mentioned about people management, especially mm-hmm. during a Soft high, yes, yung, ano to, pag nasa high stress environment tayo. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Engineer Manny, I'm wondering about your experience in particular, Lisa, yung dating school setting kayo, tas ngayon nasa corporate world. I'm sure uh, meron kayo nakitang insights dito sa yung difference nila. For yes. example, sa akin, ang, ang, of course, teaching sa, sa, sa school setting iba sa teaching ko kapag nasa loob ako ng parish o ng simbahan. Mm. So, how about you? What what are those insights that you always keep in mind that you you really have to make sure that this is the, the most important thing that you want that your students, your your learners to to learn from you? Again, no, uh, total difference. Sa uh, academic, theoretical yan talaga. Eh. So, you want them to be able to understand and know the fundamentals. Mm-hmm. Why the fundamentals? Hindi may very complex na mathematical equation. Pero yung fundamentals, no? I recall that eh, pag naintindihan mo kasi yung fundamentals, maintindihan mo yung lahat. And why mm-hmm. is it important? Kasi pagdating mo sa real world scenarios, makikita mo ngayon, may experience mo ngayon what's happening in the real world. So, for example, in an, I, in an IP network, in a transmission network, and then, if the pe- the person who is coaching you yung tinatawag na 20% na kasama mo na tumutulong sa mm-hmm. sa iyo at mai-relate niya ito nakikita mo ngayon ito yung principle behind it i'm sure na re-record mo sa ka- na re-record mo from college days then it starts to sink to you mm-hmm. ah parang eureka moment sa kanila yon no kasi no yes, yes. bakit ba namin kailangan itong laptop sa transfer nito itong advanced engineering method bakit ba namin kailangan itong trigonometry na to. Kasi later on, gagamitin mo lahat yon pag nasa field ka na at nagbibuild ka ng network. Bakit kailan yung statistics? Eh, kasi alam nyo ba na yung traffic theory sa telecommunications and even dito, sa kalsada natin, it's all about statistics. Nandun lahat yung solution. So yun yung number one na biggest na makikita nyo na tinutukun namin sa kanila. Why? Sinasyaga namin yun kasi pag may naikwento ko sila sa ground, sa field, So, ba't nagkakalan ito to? Naalala nyo, araw, yung tinuturo namin ng transmission engineering sa inyo, 
nag-increase kayo ng capacity, nag-increase ang bandwidth, therefore bababa ang gain. Mm-hmm. Now you know why suddenly nag-expand kayo ng capacity sa microwave link na yan, dumadapa na yung microwave link. Kasi nakalimutan nyo, nabababa yung gain, dapat kinompensate nyo by increasing the antenna size or even changing the power output. Mga ganon. Tapos yung teaching to students versus teaching to professionals, no? na some are co-equal, and your peers, and in some cases, even above you up the management chain, so sometimes to our company's external customers, gives you quite a different experience talaga. Iba yung nagtuturo ka sa estudyante, na ngayon pa lang nila na-realize yun, na understand yun, na-encuentro yun, doon sa nagtuturo ka sa kapwa mo professionals, because they also have other knowledge and information, maybe more detailed than what you have. Mm-hmm. And that's why it becomes a two-way street. You learn from them they learn from you. And what ano contribution mo doon in the entire chain kung mas expert sila sa isang particular subject, yung experience mo because that yes. is something else that kailangan mo ipasa sa kanila. So you have to be fully prepared to teach professionals and you should be comfortable sharing your experience to them and not think that these people who are actually more adept at me in this particular sense in technology and expertise will somehow replace me. That's not That's not what you should be thinking. You should be thinking that you are building the future engineers that will make sure that this company succeeds. Yes. That's why we have a trainer trainers program. Mm-hmm. Tapos, isa pa, ito, importante, always specific content in the corporate world. Sa academe, generic yan eh. Libro, textbook. Pagdating mo sa academe, for example, sabi sa akin ng mga taga-finance, Sir Manny, gusto namin maintindihan itong tungkol sa free radio frequency spectrum. So when you present to them about radio frequency spectrum, you don't talk to them about how to compute the speed of light, how to compute yung kilohertz and this, kumpara sa anyan, but you talk to them in in aspects na maintindihan nila, nirelate ko sa real estate, kasi radio frequency spectrum real estate. Mm-hmm. And then I told them, ito ang financial implications niyan sa atin as a company. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng mga legal people, gusto na yung maintindihan tungkol sa 4G, 4 generation, long-term evolution network. If I came to them and put out the huge architecture design for LTE, eh, dyan, hindi nila maintindihan sila makarelate. So what you do? Ito yung 4G basics. Itong implications na sa atin by way of regulatory policies, by way of licenses, and by way of service to our customers para maintindihan nila. And then they're able to relate. Yan ang tinatawag ko na kailangan mong i-tailor fit at i-customize. When you start talking to legislators and you want to let them know na ito yung technology so that you can influence the policies that they come up with, well, you have to tailor fit to them. Otherwise, puro knows me dyan, then you will not come, <laughs> you will not be very effective. So you, engineer man, yeah. engineer man, I, I, I just like to emphasize what you mentioned about how you teach your employees, your trainees, the, the importance of fundamentals. Mm-hmm. I think it is something that like a survival kit nila, di ba? Sa kanilang training, sa kanilang profession. Yes. I think that's very important, the fundamental. And another point that I would like to emphasize, I like your your insights on how you facilitate learning. Mm-hmm. I guess that's a unique uh Uh, skill of a leader that for us to facilitate learning, especially if we are facilitating the learnings with our fellow professionals. Mm-hmm. I think with the students, we, we have the tendency to control the power to dominate. I know everything. But as learning, uh, in the process of le- uh, facilitating the learning with your professional, with fellow professionals, I think that's very important to have to facilitate that. And third, I wonder how you listen to them, Engineer Manny. Mm-hmm. How you listen to your learners, to those in trainings. Because the frustration, like when you don't... Re- to be honest, Engineer Manny, you mentioned several terms that is like alien to me. Like, But how about those who are learning in training? Or, paano sila nakikinig sa inyo? And you also, how you listen to your mm-hmm. learners or your uh, employees? I make it as humorous as possible. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yes. That's important. Oh, humor. <laughs> for example, kapag ka, ang kausap mo yung finance team, yung mga accountants, you don't talk to them about the formula. 
Mm-hmm. You talk to them about something else. For example, pag nag-usapan namin yung radio frequencies, bakit pa importante sa atin? Kasi real estate yan. Mm-hmm. Yung radio frequency na ina-allocate, ina-assign sa ina-assign sa atin ng NPC, real estate yan. Diyan ka magtatayo ng bahay mo. Ano yung bahay mo? Yung network. Diyan ka kabuhan ng, diyan ka magla, diyan, diyan titira yung mga, yung mga customers. Di ba? Kung kailangan natin ng maraming customers na titira dyan, kailangan natin ng maraming frequency, marami dahil tatayo na building. Yung iba medyo green na, verde na yung usapan, but they finally sink it in. No? Sa mga, sa mga ano naman, dun sa mga engineers, talagang diretso kasi they're your peers. And they, they tend to, to, to relate to you. In fact, minsan mm-hmm. sinasabi sa kanila alam, no, pag tayo-tayo nag-uusap, okay tayo. Mm-hmm. The moment na ikaw nasa harapan ng board o XCOM, elevator pitch ka. So, hindi pa pwede magpo-pull out ka doon ng slide na 100 pages. Yes. Tapos, ang nakaupo doon sa board mo, sila, ay, may gusto sa bell. <laughs> oh, my good lord. You know, uh, during my early days in love, no, uh, I, I recall kasi nagpapresent ako sa board dati. No? Pag na, pagka nagpa-flash na ako ng slides ko, una tinitignan ng mga board members, including mga Sintel, yung nasa dulo, ilang pages yan lahat. And what, And what they do, because they have a pre-read about it, is to say, there's no need, can you go immediately to the recommendation and let's mm-hmm. talk about it. And so, elevator pitch. So, kailangan mo makuputo ng elevator pitch. Buti na lang, elevator sa amin, mahaba, 28 floors. <laughs> <laughs> so, medyo mahaba, mahaba, mga 5 minutes to 10, di ba? Ayun, sabi nung no, no, <laughs> engineer sa akin, sa dipindutin ko lahat yung floors, magagalit yung mga kasabay mo na mga <laughs> No. <laughs> no. And, and and that's how you, and that's and then how do you listen to them? You ask them questions and they will talk. Mm-hmm. So, more of you, asking you, questions and coming oh, up with elevator pitch when you discuss during oh, manco oh. meetings, no? Yes. And then the other thing is ask them questions. Ikaw ang magtanong. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. And be very sincere about it. Ako pag talagang hindi ko naiintindihan, kasi bila, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're not sure. Hindi ko alam. And if somebody here in the in the class, this at Latin Air, is able to help us with it, I would appreciate that. You let us know. And somebody will surely come up and says, ganito kasi yan, sir. And then we will explain. So I hand over the session to him and everybody is happy about it because now they learn from their own peer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba? So then everyone got a teacher. Napaka-important so talaga ng ginagawa mo, engineer money. Napaka-valuable sa organization, especially sa succession planning, di ba, engineer money. Kasi It's ang succession not- planning is not only having someone replace the incumbent, eh. Yun yung wrong notion mm-hmm. dyan, eh. Oh, It's really not- more of transferring learning, di ba? Yes. You're developing ready nows, ready laters, because eventually they would be in the position of power, in the position mm-hmm. of authority that will make them become critical talents of the company. That's why importante mga katulad mo na kumbaga you are the knowledge management owner of network or the technical side of the company. Diba? Napaka-valuable niyan. Uh, engineer, what advice can you give to our young engineers po? Alam nyo, uh, for the young engineers, learn as much as you can. Marami kong mga kinausap on the side because often when I off, I tell them, you know, you have to start learning about this particular technology or this topic. And I would get a reply na, sir, hindi kasi trabaho yan ngayon. Eh. Uh, saan ba importante yan sa akin? Yun ang mga talagang ini-invite ko for coffee or on the side of the corridors. Or sometimes pupunta ako sa kanilang table. Sabi nyo, alam nyo, uh, there's a reason why I want to do it. And I see moving forward that This is where it's going to get the important sa iyo. If you want to build and further your career to that, then you have to learn this. And oh, by the way, yung alam mo ngayon, turo mo sa iba. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Turo mo sa iba. I, I recall, there is one very painful experience sa akin na ganito. Eh. Mm. One of our deep level experts, talagang, talagang master na master niya isang particular na technology mm-hmm. na to at saka itong architecture na to has been bypassed for promotion many, many times. And his mm-hmm. IS, we were even 
you know, uh, nominated him. And so one day, this guy, who's not even part of my team, he's from another engineering group, he came to me and says, eh, bakit kaya hindi ako napopromote? Na. <laughs> ano sagot mo, engineer? He's expert naman ako, no? Sabi ko siya, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, but mm-hmm. I will check why. Mm-hmm. So I spoke to the IS. And you know, alam mo, ito, this is what I found out, and this is really very painful for me. Dahil ayaw niya magturo. Siya lang ang may alam nung trabaho na yon. Ayaw siyang i-promote for fear nung IS niya na kapag ka siya na-promote, aalis siya, lilipat siya sa ibang grupo and then wala na yung capability. Kasi iniwan niya capability sa kanya. So I went back to him sabi niya, alam mo, mag-kapit tayo sa dali. No? Yung kapit namin nung araw, 3 in 1 pa lang. <laughs> kaya, kaya medyo malakas ang loob natin mag-invite oh, okay. noon eh, no? kaya, <laughs> you need you know? to teach others because yes. the reason why your IS doesn't even nominate you even for a step on promotion because he's afraid that if you get promoted you finally move to another place because you're given a new responsibility and then right. nobody will do what you are doing yeah yeah I agree, Engineer Manny. You know, I think what you're doing, Engineer Manny, yung imbitahan mo sila na magkape to mm-hmm. have for the conversation, I think it's going beyond be- being a, a teacher or being oh, a wow. facilitator. It's, I think it's more of, of course, I'm from the, you know, as a priest, uh, I think I would, I would use the, the term used by Pope Francis. I think what you're doing is the art of accompaniment. You accompany someone who desires to learn to to deepen and strengthen his knowledge and skill. I think that's really excellent. And I wonder, paano naman po dun sa mga executives? Siyempre, di ba? <laughs> Sila yung mga nandun sa, yun, sa taas. Eh. We, we, we know that they have a greater power. So any, ano po, uh, advice para po sa mga executives sa corporate world? Well, again, um, usually, they would approach you and ask you, ano ba to? And you should not, you should not shy away from it and think that they would know it better than you. Because mm-hmm. there's a reason why they're asking. They're not asking to test you whether you know it or not. At mm-hmm. least in the in the Ayala company executive chain, no Ayala group, there is no executive who will come to you and ask you, Paano ba to? Just to test if you know what you're doing. What to, they will tell you, do you really know what you're doing if there is a problem mm-hmm. with what you're doing? Mm-hmm. Oh. So you should be more open to that. And I, I, I can tell you, I have mentored many IAL executives as well. Mm-hmm. Congressmen, the most difficult oh. to oh. talk to. <laughs> because they think they know it. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. it's not true. And you, as a trainer, you should have said in your company, you know, Father, I didn't, I never even thought of it that way. Sa akin kasi parang, I saw somebody, somebody came to me with, a, with an issue, with a challenge, with a problem. Parang naging obligation ko ngayon to help you with the problem. So ganun din, if somebody come to me and ask, and if I really know, and I can tell you what it's all about, I will take time. Yeah. Engin- yeah. Engin- Engineer think I I I use that uh way you just term from Oprah to to describe your your effort, your your generosity to give your time. Because nowadays, and daming may tanong. You better mention the importance of asking questions. You ask, yeah. but there's also a temptation to find answer through internet. Do na lang. Yeah. Diba? May tanong tayo and then we we miss the conversation, the human connection. And I think kaya sobrang nagustuhan ko yung, yung ginagawa nyo as someone who work in the corporate world. You really mm-hmm. maintain the human connections. And speaking of human connections, kahit na nandito tayo sa Zoom, I don't know, Dr. G, I, I'm wondering about your thoughts on this. You notice during our conversation, mm-hmm. even if it's those, uh, during those moments when we talk about serious matters, napapangiti pa rin si, si Engineer Manny. At sabi niya nga kanina, the humor, the importance of humor. Yes. So, I'm sure Dr. G, ikaw sa teaching din, meron kang source of uh, joy, kaya ka nagtuturo. At sabi mo, multitasking ka, nasa academic ka na, nasa corporate. Cor- 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 so, perhaps, uh, we, we might want to ask also Engineer Manny about, you know, ano yung joys of his profession? 
Alam mo, there is no greater joy than seeing those people who you thought yung mga tinuruan mo, mga tinulungan mo, na mentor mo, na coach mo, overcome their challenges and become mm-hmm. successful. Wow. Yung sinasabi kayo na ni Dr. G, yung succession plan, this is my succession plan. You know, I was once, it, ito yung pinakomon question, I don't, I'm sure you have encountered it or heard it somewhere, na pang Miss Universe na tanong eh. Yung tanong, yung pinaka, <laughs> uh, tanong na rin ito. Sir, how to be you? Mm. <laughs> Ang Miss Universe na tanong yun. Seriously, ano yung pinakal na nun. Mm-hmm. can never be me because every individual is unique. Right. You know what right. you can be? You can be much, much more than I am because in what I'm trying to do here makes many other leaders proud. I want to be sure that that's why I'm teaching you guys dito, so that I become obsolete. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Because at some point in time, hindi naman ako ano, immortal, hindi naman ako immortal, hindi naman ako katulad ng uh, presidential legal advisor ngayon, no? <laughs> not, okay. I don't think I will get to there. But then, anong gagawin mo sa lahat ng experience mo, sa lahat ng natutunan mo? Kasi sa aming mean, environment namin, sa high-tech world, kailangan aral ka ng aral, aral ka ng aral. We even have dedicated Thursday afternoons for people to take courses. Mm-hmm. Everyone must take course. Meron kayong target. Ako, I want you to take the course every Thursday afternoon to satisfy my curiosity about new stuff, new things. And so, then, you have all of this and then, anong gagawin mo doon? Pasa mo. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, yun ang isang yung mga tanong na how to be, why do you want to be me? Oo nga. How to be you nga ba? Ah, actually, engineer, ang dami natin gustong pag-usapan pa. Pero ako, engineer, no, sa dami ng natutunan namin sa yung ngayon, uh, gusto namin malaman yung iyong, uh, ano yung gusto mong i-leave behind na final message mo to our viewers or listeners yes. today? Mm-hmm. Alam nyo, ito parang matatawa rin kayo. Di ba yung nalala mo si Ratatouille? Everybody. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you put your minds and your hearts to it, mm-hmm. everybody can teach. Everybody has something to teach. Huwag kayong mangimi, huwag kayong matakot na magturo kasi isipin nyo, baka mas alam pala kaysa sa akin. So what? The exchange will make sure that you learn to as well in the progress. And what are you going to do with all of the knowledge and the experience that you have? Diba? Ano gagawin mo doon? Mga talents to na binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon, what you do with it? Hindi mo gagamitin? And then what? Sayang. Sayang. Mm, so, yeah. Put your heart and your mind in what you do. You in teaching. Oh. And practice yung accompaniment or in the corporate context, we call it MBWA. Mm. Yung management <laughs> by walking around. By walking around. Every like day. that. Ngayon, ang tawag ko na building leadership na Ah, uh, oh, 'di ba? Yun yung isang term na ginagamit natin sa corporate world, yung MBWA. Nag-MBWA ka na ba? <laughs> I like that. Mukhang alalaman mo 'yun eh kapag ka nag-MBWA ng tao kasi nagkakaroon na ng mga toilet coaching. Oh. From Even all of us team. from Team Bridges, no? Ah, uh, nako, Engineer Manny, ang dami naming natutunan. <laughs> so, yes. Mag-uusap pa tayo, let uh-huh. engineer, no? Uh, yes. By the way, happy anniversary to you and yes. your wife, si Miss Ruby. Happy anniversary. Wish you more blessed anniversary and wonderful po. years ahead. Thank you so much, uh, Miss wow. Ruby, for allowing your husband to join us. Engineer Manny, thank you so much for all those great insights we've learned from you today. Yes, and thank, thank you, you for having team. me as well. Appreciate oh, it. The pleasure is ours. Now, thank you for Engineer Manny. I love this exercise. Much. <laughs> thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Engineer Manny. And as I've said earlier, sobrang inadmire ko yung how you yes. facilitate our conversation, your joy, your your passion of sharing your your experience, your knowledge. So thank you so much, Engineer Manny. And thank you, UST Communications Bureau, for supporting Bridges. Here at Bridges, we build bridges of people, bridges of knowledge, and new learnings. 
friends. Thank you for tuning in. Happy Teachers Month to all the teachers at the University of Santa Tomas. A very big thank you from all of us, the alumni. Join us again next Tuesday for another exciting episode with Father Marlon and Dr. Evelyn as we bring you Pag si Tatay at si Nanay ang teacher. That's the topic with our guests, Brian and Antan. Here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Mabuhay po tayong lahat and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Take care. Thank you.